हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फाइनली वन प्लस आई स्टार्टर रोलिंग आउट कलर ओ एस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन फॉर वन प्लस नाइन एंड नाइन प्रो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स क्विकली टेक अ लुक वॉट ऑल चेंजेस दे हैव डन विद दिस लेटेस्ट कलर ओ एस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर आई हैव माई वन प्लस नाइन ऑन विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल्ड कलर ओ एस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन इफ यू सी हियर कलर ओ एस वर्जन से इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन एंड्रॉइड वर्जन इज एंड्रॉइड ट्वेल्व एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर बिल्ड कम्स विद फिफ्थ मार्च ट्वेंटी and the version is c.60 and it's a huge update as you can see here the size of the update is around 2 gb so this is the ota received by people who were running the stable build of color os 12.2 And guys, now before starting the video, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video. And we have 82% of users who watches our videos but haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay, now let me show you the benchmark results here. With the Geekbench application, single core has scored 819 and multi core has scored 3229. With Antutu benchmark application, device has scored seven lakh seventy one thousand five hundred and seventy-seven. We also ran CPU throttling test, and trust me, guys, results were pretty great. As you can see, initially there was not a single drop to be seen in the graph while testing CPU throttling. Later on, graph went bit down. Still, max CPU throttled up to ninety-one percent. Okay, so you will not find much of changes here. in the ui and we'll be doing a dedicated video wherein we'll try to find out all the changes what they have done on color os 12.1 compared to color os 12 and we'll do side by side comparison and talking about the installation process of color os 12.1 so if you're running the latest build of oxygen os you can just do a local upgrade so as you can see here even i did a local upgrade and i did not lose any kind of files from the internal storage but for once make sure to take a backup of your device and don't take chances on your data so here you'll be requiring these two files this is the color os 12.1 file just download and place it inside the internal storage after that just install a local update application tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner and select the file this way you can update your device to color os 12.1 and also remember one thing if you install color os 12.1 or color os you'll find lot many chinese applications and few of them cannot be uninstalled or disabled for that we have made a dedicated video on debloating color os and oxygen os so make sure to check out that video which is being displayed on the screen using this video you guys can remove all the chinese bloatware from your oneplus 9 or 9 pro now talking about the change log so first change you guys will find it in the gallery so here soon you open the gallery application you'll see a new pop up which says card case so here under more album you'll find a card case option which will automatically organize photos of ids bank cards tickets and receipts if you guys want to turn this feature off that can also be done by going to settings and here towards the bottom side you can see you have an option of card case album and the next change log is done related to split screen mode So for example we have this application open in split screen mode and let's open up another application so here you can see now we have two applications opened in the split screen mode but now here you have a new pill on the top side by which you can just drag the application and open this in floating windows so i'll just drag it and as you can see this application just got opened in the floating windows over the other app which we were using later few changes have been done with omoji so which can be found here and guys i've seen many users finding issues while logging in on color os so if you guys are not receiving any otp just open oppo official forum on chrome or your pc and sign up there make sure you set your mobile number and your email id correct so here they have added few more options to customize your omoji though i personally don't use this feature much on my device if i am running color os while setting up omoji device will use camera to recognize your face and gives you best results and you also have a new tab of random reactions later on with color os 12.1 we do have an option of full screen translate so for example if you have any page or application which have different language and you want to translate that language to your particular language so just open the floating windows tap on screen translate make changes in the language settings and now here you'll see an option called full screen translate soon you tap on this the entire screen will be scanned and the language will be translated as you can see here initially everything was in chinese and now we have converted to english so quite a great and useful feature few main languages are being supported after that we have this new multi screen connect i'm not sure whether this thing was changed on the previous builds but as far as i remember this was called pc connect feature but now it says multi screen connect 
and we'll be checking out this feature thoroughly and we'll update you guys in the features video of color os 12.1 another i think this is a new add-on which is called clipboard access so from here you can enable this alert me when app reads the clipboard and it's again a quite helpful feature which may cause privacy leaks here you have all the applications for which you can allow or deny the access after that they have optimized the link boost 3.0 which makes network more stable transmission faster and switching between networks more natural and at last for gamers we do have the hyperboost feature hyperboost technology provides the best balance point of performance and this is not the feature which you guys can find it on your device it's a system level optimization that doesn't require manually turning on or turning off so the supported games will automatically support this feature though still we don't have the option of 90 fps though in the graphic settings of battlegrounds mobile india as you can see here i selected smooth and 90 fps but if you check the current fps meter it says 60 fps so still oneplus 9 or 9 pro running color os 12.1 we don't have the support of 90 fps so guys these were some of the changes which they have done on color os 12.1 we'll be still testing out this build thoroughly and we'll do a detailed video comparing this latest build with the previous builds of color os 12.0 so stay tuned for that and if you still have any kind of questions related to color os 12.1 then do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day